HP Williams writes, Hey Collider crew, I wanted to know who are some of your favorite actors on television and who on TV would you like to see more movie work from? I personally think that Grant Gustin is has shown good work on The Flash and same with Stephen Amell. Thanks and bring on the filthy. Jason, who, who do you want to see? Are those two people uh, people you want to see more movie work from? Or you got others? I wouldn't mind seeing some more stuff from Stephen Amell. I know he's in Turtles too, yeah. so we'll see how that turns out for him. I have two that come to my mind. One of them is uh, he's sort of been in a lot of movies, uh, but he's been in television lately, and that's Justin Thoreau uh, from mm-hmm. The Leftovers, because I think he has been killing it on The Leftovers, just carrying that entire show. And I'd like to see him lead some very uh, deep and complex dramas. Uh, my second choice is a Dark Horse, mm-hmm. and this is... Uh, Michael Emerson from Person of Interest and Lost because he has been a solid actor for eight years doing these little tiny subtle things and he just completely uh, transforms in front of you and he's so subtle and I think that he needs to make the transition to some of these movies and be some of the uh, supporting or like secondary characters in some of these larger big budget movies. I would love to see him make like a Brian Cranston trans, uh, uh, career move. Now, speaking of creepy, he played a creepy character in Lost, Ben. Yeah, yeah, he Ben was, Linus, too. Yeah. yeah, like, I mean, just like, just throw that in a movie. Like, there's so many places that he could, like, really work and transform. He's such, he's such a strong actor that I think not enough people give credit to. Um, two of the ones I would have had before, but they've already transitioned to movies, were Idris Elba from The Wire and Luther, and then Benedict Cumberbatch from Sherlock. Those two now have kind of... They're mostly in movies now. Uh, Two that haven't made it yet are uh, Jack Houston and uh, Michael Kenneth Williams. Jack Houston played Half Face, Richard Harrow in Boardwalk Empire, and uh, Michael Kenneth Williams played Omar from The Wire and also Chalk and White in uh, in Boardwalk Empire. They've been they've been in some stuff here and there, but I think like both of those could make a big impact in movies. Christian, I think Jack Houston, he was on my list too, and I I I think he's already he'll be as you got him coming out Ben Hur and everything he's in. He crushes. He's just not the name yet. Um, another guy who's starting to, who went from well, he would TV and he's he's done TV and film, but he's starting to get a little more recognition in film is Kyle Chandler. Mm. I think Kyle Chandler oh, yeah. to me is, mm. and I think yeah. that now that he's got um, he's got Manchester by the Sea. Is that the one that? Yeah, the one I think so. The one that got too. picked up at Sundance. Yeah, that's, that that's coming out too. But you know, and he was just in Bloodline, so uh, he's a guy that I'd like to see do a lot more. Yeah, I really like your Kyle Chandler choice. Yeah. He was in Wolf of Wall Street, I think, recently. Yeah, he's, he's been in, I mean, he's, he's been, been in movies. films, yeah, and he yeah. was even in um, uh, Spectacular Now. Uh, he, he's, he's, he, there's a lot of movies that he's in, but I just want... Wasn't he in Super 8? Uh, he was in Super 8. Yeah, he was yeah. in Super 8, too, but I just think that he he's a guy that I wish would get a shot at doing maybe something on his own, too, like yeah. being the lead. I loved him in Friday Night Lights. I loved him in yeah. Early yeah. Edition. He was, yeah, he was just in Carol, also. <laughs> yeah, Carol. Yeah. He played a kind of douchebag yeah. character, though. No, you know what, though? <laughs> For for the times where he was at, I actually didn't think he was as douchey as cliche douchey as I thought he was going to be. I kind of felt for him. I mean, I didn't agree with where he was going and what his what his choices were, but I understood. I kind of I felt for the guy, and I think that also is a testament to what he does as an actor. Well, I thought Carol, the character herself, was douchey too. Yeah, well, that's so. true. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.